everybody, Chris Norris here at jamplay.com, and we're going to dissect a song called Demons from Darkest Hour's record Deliver Us. Uh, came out in 2007. Um, there was a video for this song. Um, you can check it out on YouTube or Victory Records site or the Darkest Hour MySpace. It's up all over the place. Um, so let's get into it. So first uh, thing you hear in the song is it comes in right away. Everything kind of hits you right in the chest um, with this big minor six chord. We are in standard uh, D tuning for this one and it's going to be an F sharp minor six chord split up among two guitars. So the first guitar is going to play just and over top of that you have this shape in your left hand and that's the notes of the minor six chord. Here's the six, the flattened six. Um, it's going to be the third of the chord, and there's the fifth. So you get this chord. Nice little unresolved chord. So the first guitar part is going to be... playing that, those top notes of that, and underneath that, the other guitar. Come up to this nice chord here slide down in your octaves. And then leading into the song, and that's doubled up in uh, thirds. So there's a very simple intro with a really cool rock kind of drum beat over it, and it kicks into the first uh, verse. I'll just show you what it is. So, first thing is you start out with a power chord, full power chord, which means you have your root note, your fifth, then your octave above it. And then that leads into, you bring up this pinky and have this hell of a stretch, add that minor third in there, bring that note up, resolve it there by bringing your open D into it. And you have this, I believe it's a B diminished chord. You repeat that, and in place of your diminished chord, you add a B, it's called an add nine chord. Your root, your fifth, your power chord, with another power chord on top, and that makes what's called an add nine. So that replaces your diminished with that rhythmic pattern behind it. And as you can see, I'm utilizing um, an upstroke on those chords. On the chord change, because you have this note up here building up in a melody, and you kind of, even though it's so quick, you want that note to be the strong point, what you hear first, so drum up that way. Can't really notice that much of a difference, but I think you can, so that's how that goes. And then that repeats again and my guitar drops to a melody on top of that. Kind of a cool little single note melody um, falling down in scale and eventually it outlines notes of those chords when it moves down to them. So that's your first verse. Um, then there's kind of a bridge riff coming up uh, that repeats. That verse riff repeats later on also, you, which you'll see in the song demo later on. Um, so I only have to show it to you once. So let's get into the bridge riff coming up. So now we come to this transitional bridge type riff. Uh, let me just show it to you real quick. Pretty simple, it's based upon the same chord progression as uh, the other riff so far. And um, it's got a lot of good string skipping stuff in it. I, I love Swedish metal styled riffs that involve string skipping. So, uh, slowly. There's a basis for it and you're gonna have these pedal points. 
right here, this F sharp that you keep coming back to. So. That's really the melody of the part just interjected with these pedal notes. And drop your bass note and bring this pedal note resolve so you have this kind of resolution using counterpoint. And then here for the tail and the other guitar hangs on this. So you start out the minor third, drop down to that second which has an unresolved sound. So you have resolves really nicely to that F sharp. And over top of that is uh, instead of you have or not that. You have a minor third, uh, typical Swedish harmony. Um, that's going to repeat uh, later on in the song in a different variation. Um, after you do this, you go back to that very uh, first riff, and then you're going to come to the chorus. So I'll show you that in a second.